Welcome back to the course entitled Symmetry, Stereochemistry and Applications. In the last lecture, we were talking about uh, aldol condensation reaction and we, had, we have discussed about the reaction mechanisms of aldol condensation. So, now we will discuss a similar reaction which is called the <coughs> Claisen ester condensation reaction. So, here also we need an alpha hydrogen for <coughs> initiation of the reaction. So, in this Claisen ester condensation reaction, the alpha hydrogen of an ester <coughs> is weakly acidic. and can be abstracted by a strong base to form an enolate ion just like aldol condensation. like aldol condensation. This Claisen condensation happens when an enolate ion of an ester reacts with another carbonyl compound to form a beta keto ester. So, you can understand the mechanism of this reaction is very similar to the aldol condensation. So, in this case we have an ester R O C double bond O CH2 R and this reacts with an a strong base which abstracts the proton and forms the enolate ion just like aldol condensation. which also has a resonating structure which I am drawing here. Enolate ion reacts with another molecule of ester just like that happened in your aldol condensation.
cut. So, this enolate ion then reacts with another molecule of ester. to form this reaction intermediate. And then when this anion again forms back the corresponding C double bond O, this OR is eliminated as alkoxide iron and the double bond is formed back. So, now what we have is with respect to this carbonyl carbon this one is alpha and that is beta. So, the product is a beta keto ester. So, this is the product of a standard Claisen condensation reaction. So, let us try to see with another example. this <coughs> ethyl acetate is treated with sodium methoxide to form the carbon ion like this. And then this carbon ion further reacts with another molecule of this but sodium methoxide. This carbon ion reacts with another molecule of ethyl acetate to form this reaction intermediate. and eventually this double bond forms back and the ethoxide ion is released as anion and the product that we get is this one. So, this is alpha that is beta. So, it is the product beta keto ester. So, the same or similar reaction can be done in a crossed manner that means, you can choose two different uh, carbonyl compounds and we can choose a carbonyl compound which does not have alpha hydrogen atom. So, just like the previous case of uh, aldol condensation. So, if we if we take the ester of uh, benzoic acid and treat this with C H 3 C O O M E that is methyl acetate in the basic medium. what will happen is this proton will be abstracted 
and the anion will be formed. And then this anion will react with the carbonyl with the carbonyl carbon of the benzo uh, methyl benzoate and will form this intermediate and then when this double bond forms back one is further eliminated and you get the unique product a beta keto ester in this uh, Claisen condensation reaction. So, one can use Claisen condensation also in a crossed uh, manner just like aldol cross aldol condensation to arrive at a specific organic compound <coughs> in a very uh, efficient manner. So, there are cert certain variations of uh, this Claisen condensation reaction. So, when you try to do Claisen condensation reaction in a cyclic manner that is a cyclization reaction through Claisen condensation then it is called a Dickman reaction. So, what we call is a cyclic a cyclic Claisen condensation is named as D I E C K Dickman reaction. So, here you see in a particular compound, if you have two ester groups, at two ends. So, when you treat this with E T O minus, it can abstract a proton from here and form this compound. And this enolate can attack the other carbonyl carbon of this same compound at the other end and form a cyclic compound like this. Then again when this double bond forms OET is eliminated and you get a cyclic beta keto ester. So, similarly if we do this reaction on a long chain molecule you can form a six membered ring very efficiently containing both keto and ester functionality. So, this cyclic uh, Claisen condensation reaction is also very much useful in synthesizing uh, cyclic compounds using the same uh, reaction mechanism. So, the ester groups are essential at two ends once you should have ester group and then this reaction can proceed efficiently. Now, I am giving you a problem for you to work out.
which among the following which among the following compounds can be synthesized by a Dickman condensation reaction. Identify the reactant. So, I am giving you six compounds. So this is your homework and you should find out which compounds among the following among the six compounds can be made using the Dickman condensation reaction and identify the uh, starting material or the reactant to make these Dickman products. So we will continue in the next lecture and try to understand a few new reactions in the 11th week. Thank you.